A new dimension in learning. Good evening, I'm Stephanie Lam. And I'm Kiahi Tucker. Their education is real, their master's degrees bona fide, but at graduation, reality gets a little fuzzy. Tonight, 22 Oahu students met up inside Diamond Head Crater for a commencement speech truly out of this world. Ben Gutierrez is here to explain in our top story, Ben. Well, Kiahi, it is a first for the University of Hawaii as the College of Education held a graduation ceremony online in a world that included a Diamond Head amphitheater. No need for caps and gowns, just a laptop and Internet access. These students received their master's degrees in educational technology in a small classroom, or actually in the virtual online world of Second Life. About maybe two or three of the online students will come and join the actual commencement ceremony. So we thought it would be a good idea for us to have a virtual graduate ceremony in Second Life. 22 graduates attended the virtual ceremony. They got to hear a commencement speech delivered by the dean of the College of Education, who was in another small classroom. Don't be afraid to risk, for that's how you learn. And delivered by the dean's second life avatar. The road less traveled is sometimes fraught with barricades, but it is on that road where your character is tested and your growth realized. So take a leap and go for it. Part of the issue for, for us in education, though, is to adapt to the changing students, the changing learners. Uh, because they're growing up with technology and are more comfortable with technology than, than faculty are at times. Not only was the graduation ceremony virtual, so is the after-graduation party. Bummer. There were three students who actually were on campus for the graduation. Maya Iida. I thought it was great. My family was able to come and attend the Second Life graduation. There's 10 kids in my family, and they range from Georgia all the way to Texas to California. Using technology as a, as a, as a uh, stage, I think, for graduation makes a lot of sense. One graduate says there was some advanced preparation. We did a dress rehearsal and a run-through with this, and it seemed to work just fine. So. You had a rehearsal? <laughs> yeah, last week. But graduation is now over, and it's time to celebrate. And we'll go to the party, where you should be. There you go. And now you have to socialize. I'll leave you there. While it is a first for UH, another college actually held the first ever virtual graduation a year ago. The students who took part today have their master's degrees, but if they want, they can still take part in graduation in real life next weekend. And no flying. Ben Gutierrez, Hawaii News Now. Oh, very nice. Thank you, Ben. Uh, by the way, the university's main graduation, as Ben was mentioning, is Saturday, May 14th, and not in a virtual world. The undergrad ceremony at the Stan Sheriff Center is from 8.30 to noon, and then UH will award master's and doctorate degrees plus education certificates from 3 to 5 p.m. Gotta love that flying part.